All right, it's just evening weather for Weather Geeks time. This video will be kind of a hybrid between kind of our usual Weather Geeks video and more of just a severe weather update for this evening. We're going to focus a lot over the next couple of hours in this video, uh, and we'll dive a little bit more into other geeky weather uh, subjects in future editions of this video this week when we don't have severe weather potential. In the meantime, we've had a lot of rain, too much rain over the last 48 hours, especially dating back to yesterday morning. 1.32 inches at the airport, but there's been a corridor of 2 inch plus amounts closer to Interstate 70. Even a few of our local rain gauges have been Pretty close to two inches just in the last 24 hours, including down towards Glenmore, Calcutta, just north of East Liverpool. Elwood City over in Lawrence County, 1.52 over the last 24 hours. And there's a gauge over near Cranberry, uh, 2.08 inches. And no surprise that our local creeks and streams and rivers are running high. The Mahoning River at Levittsburg will probably crest later on tonight into tomorrow morning, pretty close to moderate flood stage, which is 14 feet at Levittsburg, Eagle Creek, also up there in Trumbull County, is running high. The Ohio River at East Liverpool uh, will probably crest Thursday, pretty close to moderate flood stage at around uh, 15.4 feet. In the in the uh, Ohio River, also running quite high near the gauge at uh, Wellsville. We're expecting a crest Thursday around 13.6 feet, which is right in the middle of minor flood stage. So yeah, more rain is on the way, severe weather or not. Flooding is a concern. For tonight, that's why <clears throat> so many counties are under flood watches, including a few of our local counties, Mahoning, Columbiana, and Lawrence. Several flood warnings are out in the brighter green colors as well. All right, as of this recording, it is 7.05 p.m. Tornado watch out for the Columbus area, Cincinnati, Dayton. I would expect over the next hour or so, a new watch to be issued kind of like this, maybe a little farther north. Um, it might be a severe thunderstorm watch, might be a tornado watch, my guess would be a tornado watch. It'll include a lot of southeast Ohio, the panhandle of West Virginia, probably southwestern PA, and maybe a county or two in our television viewing area as well. This is what the radar looked like when I recorded this video at 7.05. One band of heavy storms is going to probably miss us to the north and west like this. This is what we're going to be watching over the next couple of hours. This is more aimed towards far eastern Ohio, the panhandle of West Virginia, and western PA. Now, its trajectory, both eyeballing the radar and looking at our high resolution modeling would suggest that this is going to largely be centered south of Route 224 and especially south of Route 30 down into our far southern uh, viewing area and down into the Wheeling and Steubenville areas as well. There's a pretty distinct warm front of course across the uh, state this evening. This warm front is easy to pick out. It's right here. It's pretty much right across our area. The dew points are in the late spring or summer like lower 60s in Morgantown, Columbus, and Cincinnati where our dew points locally are mostly in the 50s. Not quite as high so the moisture content in the atmosphere is not quite as high locally even though it's going to try to rise a little bit this evening. The overall thunderstorm fuel uh, will be highest over the next hour or so of daylight across central parts of Ohio and lower after dark in eastern Ohio where the moisture is shallower and will lose the daytime heating. So, you know, that all that by way of saying our severe weather risk is probably going to be maximized over the next hour or so, the 7 and 8 o'clock hours in central and east central Ohio, and I would expect a waning severe weather threat the closer these storms get to the Ohio-Pennsylvania border. So if we had to kind of rank our severe weather risks this evening, they're lowest in our northern areas, highest in our southern areas, and we're kind of somewhere in between, in the Route 30 corridor, Canton over to Hanoverton to Lisbon, East Palestine, etc. Once you're down towards East Liverpool and especially down towards Toronto, Steubenville, Wheeling, that's where the severe weather risk is probably highest this evening. High resolution modeling showing the simulated radar for the rest of this evening. Again, our highest risk for rain and thunder and possible severe weather will be in a few hours after this recording, probably somewhere between 9 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. Um, I would expect uh, the severe weather risk to rapidly uh, end uh, once this main cluster moves through at the latest, 10.30, 11 o'clock this evening. And then just some showers here and there overnight into our Wednesday morning. Just plan on a damp start to our Wednesday. It's not a washout Wednesday. Best chances for showers will be in the morning hours. The afternoon, probably some sunny breaks. And if we get some sunny breaks, it may be kind of that self-destruct sunshine where some sunshine with very cold air aloft may cause clouds to really bubble up and maybe we get a couple of hail producing or grapple producing showers in the area. Pretty good uh, rainbow weather 
late tomorrow afternoon as well. Showers may be a little more likely then tomorrow night into Thursday. And speaking of Thursday, a couple of gnarly days coming up Thursday and Friday with this low-pressure system nearby. The air cold enough to support a rain-snow mix at times. Not expecting a whole lot of this to stick. Maybe on some non-paved surfaces we get occasional dustings, but there probably will be enough to measure, certainly in the higher terrain of West Virginia, maybe southwestern Pennsylvania as well. Before we leave you this evening, a uh, real quick word on the eclipse on Monday. Unfortunately, there's been some trends that we don't like to see in the last 24 hours on some of the modeling. We were pretty optimistic yesterday that it might end up being a pretty nice day next Monday. Today, the modeling is faster with a disturbance passing through the Midwest and lower Great Lakes, and that would increase our cloud chances, maybe even increase our precipitation chances. We've added a low-end chance of showers into our Monday afternoon forecast. Now, it's still only Tuesday. We've got six days to go. Cloud forecasting notoriously difficult in the longer range. And so even though we're closer and we're going to keep taking stabs at this forecast, expect there to be some refinements and some more changes between now and Monday. We want a crystal clear sky. That seems increasingly unlikely. But if we just have some high clouds and it doesn't, we don't get a thick cloud deck, a low cloud deck, we'll be all right. It won't be as nice as if it were crystal clear, but thin high clouds would not be something that would completely ruin the show. We'll have more updates on the eclipse, of course, in future editions of this video. Now, this evening, I'll launch a live stream probably as we head towards 9 o'clock this evening. Um, as we babysit those storms coming east, the severe weather risk appears to be lower than it looked like it would be and higher to our south down towards I-70, but we can't rule out some some rowdy storms in our area before the evening is through. So, of course, we'll keep you updated on social media. We'll have a live stream on uh, Facebook and on YouTube coming up here in a couple of hours. Have a great rest of your evening. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you right back here on Wednesday for Weather for Weather Geeks.